Unit 3, Finances. Section 3.1, Unit Pricing. The unit price of an item is the cost of one unit, or the cost per unit. So if you buy a six-pack of, of pop, the unit price is how much one can out of that case costs. Or if you buy a dozen eggs, it's what one egg in that carton of a dozen eggs costs. Or in the case of a 10-kilogram bag of potatoes, it's what does one kilogram cost. The unit price is the cost of all the items in the pack or in the group divided by the number of items you've got. Let's go through a couple examples. So here's a question. If a dozen eggs cost $3.29, how much does one egg cost? Our basic formula is total cost divided by the amount that you're getting, and that gives you your unit cost. So let's do that with the eggs. Total cost of the eggs, the full dozen was $3.29. We get a dozen eggs or 12 eggs for that price. $3.29 divided by 12 gives me 27 cents. And that is 27 cents per egg. If I want to use a little bit of shorthand, $1.27 per egg. Let's run through a few more. Keep in mind we're using the same formula for all of this. Cost over amount equals unit price. Let's do solve a couple of questions. For $3.99, we get 2 kilograms of bananas. So take the $3.99, divide by 2 kilograms. And once I round it off, we end up paying $2 per kilogram. For $5.94... We're getting 18 eggs, $5.94 divided by 18 ends up being 33 cents per egg. Pecans, we're paying $23.90, we're getting 1.5 kilograms. When I divide those out and round it off, we are paying $15.93 a kilogram. Fuel, $35 for 30 liters of gas. When I divide those, $35.16 divided by 30 liters, and that gives us a cost of $1.17 per liter. All right, so Lindsay orders 80 liters of cooking oil for a restaurant. The whole case of cooking oil costs her $98.83, and she gets 80 liters. What's her unit price? What is she paying per liter? Put her numbers in. $94.83 divided by 80 liters gives us a cost of $1.19 per liter. Example 6. Save on Foods sells 3 kilograms of apples for $1.25, but Safeway sells 5 kilograms of the exact same apples for $2.50. Which store has the better price on apples? Well, in order to solve these, the best way to do it is to put them both into a unit price. Figure out what the price per kilogram is in each case. Because you can't really compare 3 kilograms to 5 kilograms. We're going to do these separately. Let's start with Save on Foods. Buck 25 for 3 kilograms of apples. Divide those two numbers, and at Save on Foods, it's going to cost you 42 cents per kilogram. Let's take a look at Safeway. Their apples are $2.50 for 5 kilograms. Divide those two numbers, and we get 50 cents per kilogram. Now we're looking for the cheapest price. Save on Foods has that cheapest price. Now when you're answering these questions, it's not enough to just have the numbers. You actually have to answer the question. Save on Foods has the better price. Part B asks, if you bought 10 kilograms of apples from each store, how much money would you save by shopping at the cheaper store? We're going to do it in two steps. Let's start with Save on Foods. Those apples were 42 cents a kilogram. We're going to buy 10 kilograms. So at Save on Foods, that 10 kilograms of apples is going to cost us $4.20. Let's move over to Safeway. At Safeway, those apples cost 50 cents a kilogram. Still looking at buying 10 kilograms. At Safeway, that 10 kilograms is going to cost $5 even. Let's end it off by finding our savings. And all we have to do is subtract those two numbers. $5, take away $4.20, and we save 80 cents by shopping at Save on Foods.